this development at Bajaj Auto joins in. Uh, good morning, Mr. Ravi Kumar. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, uh, well, in a sense, you stand out. Your month-on-month -month sales have improved. Uh, take us through what the dealers are telling you. Is this what you call festive season stocking? Or are you going to see even better numbers for October? Yeah, as you mentioned, uh, Lata, the, the month has been very good. And uh, in fact, uh, the quarter has been uh, great for us. Um, that said, uh, let's just concentrate on the month now and the mood right now. The overall, uh, our uh, products, each one of them, uh, the City and the Platina and the uh, Discover 125 and the New Pulsers have all done uh, extremely well. And uh, that is what is uh, standing us in good stead uh, at uh, this point in time. And you are seeing that uh, if I can give you some uh, granular details of the uh, domestic numbers, out of the 188,000 um, uh, two wheelers that you have seen, motorcycles that you have seen there, uh, we have almost uh, 91,000 units uh, coming from um, the City and Platina. That is very gratifying. Mm. So I have four close to questions from your friend uh, Sonia there. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, the Pulsars and KTMs have done uh, almost uh, 75,000 uh, units. The new Discover has done about 17,000. So it's all going quite uh, to plan as far as uh, domestic is concerned. The, that said, uh, I should say, uh, you know, the, the mood out there in the market for the industry as a whole, again, is, uh, is okay, but not uh, great. So we will see, I think, um, a good Diwali, but no great uh, fireworks. That's mm -hmm. what uh, is the mood, but uh, in Bajaj, there will be uh, a better than uh, a good and going towards uh, the fireworks type of a story. Okay, so good Diwali but no great fireworks. So what does that mean in terms of numbers, Mr. Ravi Kumar? I mean, your numbers are still better than what the street was expecting, but it's still a drop of 3.7% year on year. So for the next couple of months, yeah. what could the growth be, if at all? You see, I should say that, you know, the, the wholesale numbers that uh, you see, again, we have to look at uh, what was the festive season calendar last year versus uh, this year. You should, if at all, compare, you know, this... Um, October to the last uh, September. So I think, uh, you know, if I can just relate to the total numbers, I think uh, uh, 380 odd was uh, our uh, plan for uh, the month of September. We are dot on plan. We are going to plan a good um, uh, 400 uh, plus uh, for the in total, that is uh, two wheelers, three wheelers, um, domestic exports put together, uh, a good uh, 400. Uh, to 425,000 type of a number for uh, the month of uh, October, I think uh, we'll, we'll pretty much be there. But more important is the retail sense. All this should wash out, wash out in, the, in the season. Of course, there is a bit of um, uh, build up for the festive, but uh, you can see the buoyancy in the dealerships in, uh, in uh, Bajaj, basically because of the products. And uh, as um, I'll allude to the Avenger story a bit uh, in a bit from now, but um, you know the the three wheelers are doing great in domestic. Um, again, the CV, whether it is the uh, petrol alternate uh, CNG story or the diesel story in diesel, we have notched up almost about uh, 300, 400 bips uh, market share improvement. So that is uh, going quite uh, quite good for us, and uh, the dealerships are quite buoyant. So, how much has your domestic market share improved to? Sorry, I have to adjust my. Your phone a bit. Sure. Yes. How the much has your? Yeah, share, go ahead. Yeah, the domestic market share itself um, it should be. I mean, even this month uh, we should be somewhere around 19 percent, and I think festive we should exit uh, about uh, 20 or so. And uh, now that you have touched on the market share, I should talk about the Avengers now. The the new Avengers there are going to be three of them, and uh, two of them have uh, one has already gone into production, one is going to production this week, and the third one will go into production um, uh, within this month. So I think there is a very nice, uh, you know, uh, differentiated customer there, a hot care type of a category. <laughs> the Royal Enfield has uh, done great in that uh, in that space. I think uh, we have a very good chance, and Avengers should. Uh, why not Avengers become the next pulses for Bajaj Auto? Okay. Like you know, the, there is a lot of buoyancy there. We used to, we are selling about 4,000 units a month in the domestic. It can settle anywhere between 10, 15, 20. God knows where it will go and settle. Mm.
Okay, I want to talk about uh, exports. Uh, you've at least managed the same number that you did year ago levels. In fact, our exports have been the positive story. But uh, we're getting very negative cues from all other industries and all other units, uh, even other units in the auto space because of shrinking world trade. You, can you maintain this uh, run rate? Can you even better it? I think uh, Bajaj Auto has been, like you mentioned, it has been a complete standout in the current uh, export uh, scenario. The quarter has been the highest ever at 520,000 units. Even if you look at the month, uh, we should strip out almost uh, 13,000 of the last uh, September. Um, um, in Sri Lanka, uh, in government order, we had about uh, 13,000 units sitting in uh, September 14. If you strip that out, we have grown by about 8%. Uh, and uh, that said, uh, certainly Bajaj has been doing exceptionally well when everything has been not uh, so good at all. And I should say, going forwards, uh, if you look at Q3 itself, we should again, uh, for the entire Q3, we should uh, return a, a half a million plus type of a number. We are bang on target for the first half year, just 3,000 shy of the 1 million uh, um, target. And uh, for the full year, we are well on course for the 2 million plus type of a guidance. And uh, the more, than, uh, more than that, again, uh, we should see also the Pulsars and uh, Avengers doing well in the export market. That should be again good for dollar realizations. The rupee conversion is happening at, uh, I think, through the entire 90-day period, the currency has been a very good positive for us, and that should uh, flow down uh, into, the, into the bottom line as well. Let's see. Actually, that was what I was going to ask you. The, rup the rupee has actually gotten a little stronger in the past couple of weeks. Uh, now, uh, the dollar costs only 65 rupees and some pies. Until some time back, it used to be 66 plus. Will that hurt really? Uh, I should say not really. These are all very small blips. And I think, uh, you know, our strategy has been a sort of a, a range type of a booking. We don't uh, uh, sort of bet on a pinpointed uh, single rate. So that uh, strategy is also will, uh, mm. will be helping us. So we are quite okay as far as uh, uh, the booking itself mm -hmm. is concerned, the dollar rates are concerned. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you did mention 400 to 425,000 for the month of October. Can you break that, uh, break that up for us between exports and domestic? If we do, uh, I think uh, for the export, uh, I mean, that's what I was about to tell you. For, the, mm -hmm. for exports, uh, though, we'll be uh, closing for the full quarter at about uh, 500,000. Um, domestic will be given precedence and uh, priority in the festivals, obviously. And so exports, this time I think we are going to ration it out, and it may be about a lakh and fifty thousand there sitting for exports for the month of October. How much does an interest rate 150, cut? One fifty five. Okay. Sorry. But that will be lower than the run rate of one seventy five that you have been doing for the last uh, many months, right? Are you seeing? I'm, I'm just trying to that's, understand that's whether there is any export pocket that is now, you know, seeing a bit of a slowdown. Honestly, apart from Nepal, which is a very clear political scenario and which we think that will certainly get sorted so, uh, itself out before the uh, festive. Uh, but for that, uh, not much of a great concern anywhere so far. And uh, honestly, the, again, the October itself is a question of uh, rationing. So that's why I said uh, for the quarter, we should be a half a million plus as far as export uh, run rate is concerned. Okay. Uh, very quickly, uh, 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 Mr. Ravi Kumar, do ex uh, pra um, inter interest rate cuts make a difference at all for you or the industry? See, I think uh, ours is certainly a small ticket item when it comes to these things. Mm -hmm. But uh, to the extent that uh, the general mood can be buoyant, mm -hmm. that will be certainly good. Okay. But honestly, like you have been harping on so many shows, mm -hmm. I'll be looking at uh, credit growth, the way the money is getting deployed. Mm -hmm. If people get money and uh, they use it only for arbitrage, and uh, uh, the money keeps flowing from one pocket to the other between banks or between banks and the government and the RBI, mm -hmm. it's not uh, devolving mm -hmm. down to the, uh, to the activity, economic activity on the ground. Monsoons plus credit growth is what we'll be looking at. Mm -hmm. But that said, all these things are positive. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, certainly uh, uh, it's in the right direction, mm. but we don't know how much good it will be. All right, All right Mr. Ravi Kumar, we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for joining us uh, and adding a little bit of festive cheer. Actually, not too many people have spoken to us about a better quarter uh, during the.